Who are you in this vast multiverse? Welcome back to Sacred 369. Quotes by Dolores Cannon. The awakening is the purpose. The awakening of the fact that in essence we are light. We are love. Each cell of our body, each cell and molecule of everything. The power source that runs all life is light. So to awaken to that knowledge and to desire to operate in that realm and to believe that it is possible are all factors that will put you there. Number two. So it seems as though this part of us that is living a life on earth is only a small piece or splinter of a much larger us. That we are many rather than one, or rather pieces of a more complex whole. We are only able to focus on the splinter we perceive as our totality. That is a good thing, because if we were aware of the complexity of it, we would not be able to function in this world or reality. We are only able to see the facade that masks a much larger picture. Only now are we being allowed to peek behind the veil. Number three. Love is the most powerful force in the world. If people tell you that the opposite of love is fear, it is not so. Love just is. Love has no opposite. Remember that, dear one. Love has no opposite. Love just is. It is the answer to everything and anything. 4. People can't help other people if they have too many of their own problems. They can't do what's right for the planet if they can't do what's right for themselves. Number 5. When we go someplace, we leave a part of our energy there and we influence more than we can ever imagine. 6. Explain. The evolution of the heart and compassion is what is missing technically. Humans have preceded the technological advances before without heart balance, without heart evolution. And it has been disastrous. So we are here to evolve heart first until the heart is aligned with this knowledge. 7. It has been said that once the mind has been expanded by an idea or concept, it can never return to its original way of thinking. 8. Yes, but negative is an illusion. Negative and positive are both construction material. Negative is evolutionary catalyst. But you know humans consider something negative as being bad. They should reword it to evolutionary catalyst. We have been given on purpose these catalysts for evolution. These things that appear negative, these things are on purpose. 9. So each round in the game is when you are alive here on earth. Your spirit is here playing the game. Then when you die, that is the end of that particular round. If you decide you want to play another round, then you are born again. Or if you want to drop out for a round or two, then you do. And time passes. And later on, if you decide you want to play another round of the game, you are born again. Number 10. Earth. We in this physical body don't have to be negative. We can be positive. And when we know love and give love, we experience what is beyond this world. We know, need to know, we're spiritual. We're balanced. 11. We will become beings of light also if we only allow ourselves to reject all that is not of this light. 12. Just as putting a gender on a being limits in some way the way we think about the being, by putting any kind of label on anything, we limit it. 13. As we have no concept of time, each of you has already been each other and are being each other in your future. 
We know this is not very clear to you at this time. However, each of you will be given information in your near future, in which each of you will be challenged to examine this concept, that is, the past and present simultaneous with the future. 14. The most common descriptions I have found of the moment when death occurs is that there is a feeling of coldness, and then suddenly the spirit is standing by the side of the bed, or wherever, looking at their body. They usually can't understand why the people in the room are so upset because they feel so wonderful. The overall sensation is one of exhilaration rather than dread. 15. It is time to awaken. You have a mission. It is time to begin. Stop wasting time. Time is growing short for you to accomplish what you came to earth to do. 16. We are especially cautioned against eating animal protein and fried foods which act as an irritant to the body. These act as aggravators to your system after many years of misuse. We do not mean to be judgmental but the body is built for a certain type of vehicular traffic. The body cannot ascend in frequency to higher dimensional realms if the density and the toxins are polluting the environment of the human body. 17. Time is actually speeding up or collapsing. For thousands of years, the resonance or pulse heartbeat of Earth has been 7.83 cycles per second. The military have used this as a very reliable reference. However, since 1980, this resonance has been slowly rising. It is now over 12 cycles per second. This means there is an equivalent of less than 16 hours per day instead of the old 24 hours. 18. The talents of these individuals were more highly motivated by a desire to learn as opposed to a desire to earn. This is what you find in your society at this point in time, as you define it. 20. The ones who are prepared to see the changes and not crumble in fear will be the pillars on which others will lean when nothing makes sense to them. It doesn't mean that you will provide the truth to them, it just means that you are not falling down like they are. 20. And love is a force much misunderstood by humans who put it into a very tiny, narrow little box. 21. I have found you can obtain much information from the spirit, but the quality of that information depends on the evolution or development of that spirit. 22. You do not realize the power of your own mind. By focusing on the reality you desire, you can create it. Your energy is scattered. Once you learn how to focus and direct it, you are capable of creating miracles. And if the power of the one man's mind is that powerful, think of the power of group mind once it is harnessed. The power of the focusing of many people's minds is not only multiplied, it is squared. 23. No perfection, more experience. As soon as you reach perfection, it is not perfect anymore because you want to try something different. 24. You'll become a beacon and the light spreads far and wide. Many see it and are attracted to it, and they will flock to you like a moth to a candle. Even though they have not been aware or interested before, now they see they want to be part of it. 25. You are worthy of loving yourself. You've done great things in the past. You will do great things in the future. You're doing a great thing now. All will be revealed to you. You are divine. Rejoice. Thank you for listening. Sacred 369.